What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I am honored to announce that I have Joel Hansen joining me today on this breakfast challenge. We are at Harry's Cafe at Fowler's in Bristol taking on the Harry's Breakfast Challenge. In front of us here, we have two of the breakfast challenges. Name of the game is to just get this down as quickly and cleanly as we possibly can, as per usual. However, with this one, the record sits at 35 minutes. I think we have an hour overall to Correct. complete. If we fail, it is a £30 fine and we will be thoroughly disappointed. But today, there are no losers, only winners. And if we do win, we go up on the Wall of Fame and we will have ultimate bragging rights. We get the meal for free also. So, Joel, how are you feeling? Joel is Canadian. How are you feeling about a breakfast, like a, an English breakfast challenge? You know, this will be my first English breakfast challenge in England and or Britain. So I had to come to the right place to have yeah. it. So I'm very honored to be here with a British girl herself. So uh, that. I'm ready to rock. If you enjoyed this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have anything to add. And if you haven't yet subscribed or followed, do consider doing so before you leave. I hope that Joel and I are both going to be successful in our attempts today. If you've got any guesses on how long or short this is going to take us, please leave it down below in the comments. And without further ado, let's get into Harry's Breakfast Challenge. Good job. Three, two, one. Let us go. Grab this egg. I do love fried egg. We just go with some sandwiches. Mm -hmm. I probably will as well. Good day, breakfast lovers, and welcome back to the channel where we take on seemingly impossible food challenges so and make them possible. This one is incredibly interactive, so I'm going to leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy yeah, it, and don't forget to catch the outtakes at the end. They are bacon cooked mushrooms. This is the buttered bread. This is the toast. I'll do a bit of an egg sandwich. And mushrooms and everything. See what that's all about? <laughs> mm. Mm. Runny yolk. I've never had it before, but it's very crispy. Everybody's had some very mixed things to say about the fried bread. If you've ever had it before, let me know down below. It's pretty sharp, I would say. Sharp? Sharp. Yeah. Not sharp in flavor, sharp in texture. Traditionally, do people in an English breakfast mix up everything? Um, I don't really know. Ask the British people. Yeah, mix it up. Yeah. Mix it up. Mm. Like we're doing? Yeah, perfect. You gotta do it the right way. We got beans, tomatoes underneath, bacon rashers. I've got to get through this black pudding because it's not my favorite thing in the world, mm. so. It's never nice to leave it till last. I'm trying to be strategic. I'm not normally very strategic with these things. Do the things you like least first. Mm -hmm. One thing is for sure, guys, this is not calorie free. Leah's like, well, duh. <laughs> I wish it was. I would say, that's delicious. I love buttered bread. It sounds funny, but it's not something I ever eat. Bread with butter just hits a certain spot. Oh, big time. Absolutely. Big time. Toast black pudding. They locally source all of their ingredients here, and I think it really does make a difference, especially with a breakfast challenge like this. Mm. If only there were depleted bodybuilders in this room that can watch this uh -huh. sandwich assembly oh. bean. <laughs> they watching this drooling. <laughs> Some friends who came out to watch, they're bodybuilders. And one guy's competing this weekend. Mm -hmm. So he's not eating this right now. <laughs> there is no shortage of food here. Mm -mm. Getting into this, you realize how much there really is. Joel was like, this is easy. He didn't tell me what the weight of it was. Picture doesn't do this justice, I'll put it that way. Uh, wow. I have this mustard to try. 
came back. <laughs> it actually burns like wasabi and horseradish. Mm -hmm. Is there horseradish in it? I don't think so. No, that's crazy. I've never had a stronger mustard in my life. It's good. There's a lot of mushrooms on this plate. I think between the beans, the mushrooms, and the tomatoes, it covers the whole bottom layer of this tray. It's crazy. Legit. Um, let's get into some of these. Maybe the chips. I'll try fried bread too. Oh, wow. He doesn't know what to think I'm about I'm not that. used to that. I'll put it that way. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm used to ketchup. Fried bread is an acquired taste. <laughs> Apparently, that's very traditional. <laughs> the, fried bread, the, the fried bread is beyond an acquired taste. I think that you really do have to be properly old school or probably nuts to like really love it. I do prefer like buttered bread or mm -hmm. buttered toast, 100%. Me too. If you've ever had it, let me know your preference down below. <laughs> I will say, it's an acquired taste. But then, apparently these fries or chips is a new addition to an English breakfast and it's not really traditional. Mm -hmm. How you doing, Miss Leah? I'll be honest. This is not easy. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. Do not underestimate. This is an awful lot of food. No, like I said, it was, I was anticipating it would be one size, a little bigger. Mm. I, at the moment, I don't know how I'm going to get through all this bread. It's like 12 slices of bread all together. It's just unbelievable. I tell you how. I believe in you. Thank you. Ain't no losers here today. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Leah is very competitive, so she won't lose. The nice thing with bread in all reality, it's very light, like weighing, it doesn't weigh a lot. Are you joking? It literally expands. Yeah. Like mushrooms. Mushrooms they don't expand, they shrink. Comment down below if you know that I'm telling the truth, mushrooms expand. What? They absorb liquid. Well, I'm learning new science from this side of the world, apparently. Yes, and they expand inside of you as well. Mark my words, everyone. I will let the comment section decide. Yeah, <laughs> expert, mushroom experts below. I will say though, so that mustard, it is quite sharp. I understand how the average individual would get potential discomfort from eating that. It was so strong, but you're also talking to a man who has a jar of um, nasal napalm, the world's hottest horseradish, and eats it out of the jar. So, I'm not normal. And everybody's like, well, duh. All right. I like how clean your tray's looking. I'm trying. I'm doing what I can. Yeah, mine's not looking clean enough. Yours is good. No, you're, you're, not you're, good. You're, you're literally like about the same place I am. Nope. Yes, she Incorrect. is. Incorrect. Incorrect. Again, is she the same place I am? Give me hashtag same. I'm getting desperate at making sandwiches. I was doing that from the start. Ain't no desperation. No, Strategy. it's my, oh yes. Strategy. Strat I'm strategizing because I'm panicking. Let's see if I get out. Here we go. There we go. Let's get a nice glob of that. Mm. I'm gonna say. That was that was a great way to eat it. Fried bread or fried bread and mustard. This is butter bread, though. Do we have any offended British people <laughs> in the comments right now? You get somebody that'll be like, "That's terrible British etiquette." But that tastes so good. If you haven't, unless they've tried it, they can't knock it. Oh yeah, for sure. So if you tried it, you can knock it. If you haven't, you gotta give it a shot. Joel, at the end, is going to tell me how much this weighed when we finish. I will. <sighs> Sips tea. Takes oh, breath. Yeah, let's give it up for Leah, guys. Woo, let's go, Leah! <laughs> I 
as the weirdo from North America eats fried bread and mustard. There must be something behind it because you've smashed it. All right, everybody. Mm. Mm-hmm. Done the last little bit. I actually gotta say, the fried bread's growing on me. When I started, it was just a little bit of a shocker. But it ain't bad. Pretty good. There, there we go. go. That's job finished. Official done. About, I kind of forgot, I, I kind of forgot I was finishing there. Um, about 22, I think 33 was the official time, guys. So we did get a new record. Shout out to Redeem, again, the only one who actually beat this um, like for years, years and years and years. Over 100 attempts, one winner, guys. That's not a good odds. That being said, these are about to drastically increase today because Leah is about to finish up smashing this challenge. What is that for? Oh, my Lord. Uh, apparently, we have another challenge here, guys. Not sure I'm going to... I don't even know if I could eat that if I wanted to. Well, the hospitality here is bar none. You guys want me to try? Yeah, go on, do it. Um, Here's me. Dude, I don't know about that, but there's a whole challenge here. I don't even know if I could do it. That's a lot of food, guys. I'll tell Leah how much it weighs now as soon as she's done. Huge. Good. Woo! Woo! Really cool place. It's literally upstairs of a bike, like motorcycle showroom. Very cool showroom, though. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. It showroom. smells like new motorcycles and cars near, which is actually cool. You know that new car smell. Yeah, I like. I like it. It's amazing. It's unmatched. Anyway, Lee, what did you think of the challenge? It was big. Um. It was a lot of food. There was a lot of bread. I will say though. It's a lot of bread. It's a lot of bread. It was very good though. I really yeah. enjoyed it. Quality um, wise, it was it was a high quality bar none. challenge. It's what we live for is like venues that really put a lot of love and effort into the things they produce and have this. This is definitely one. Right then everyone, so that was Harry's Cafe's Breakfast challenge complete. We both managed to beat the previous record and set two new records today. That means that we get these for free. It means that we go up on the brand new Wall of Fame and we get those bragging rights, which is what we wanted. The cafe also gifted Joel with a whole other It looks challenge. like I didn't even eat a first challenge. So this is a lot of food, but I don't know. This is or was eight pounds of food and like that's we weighed it like i'm mean, that's not like bull that no. is eight pounds so joel weighed it i knew that i would not be like i would not have finished it i don't think i don't think i would have finished it if i'd known because i know yeah it's that's why, amazing. I, didn't, that's why I didn't tell you i know i, I, did, know. I, did, I did offer for the record said so do you want me to tell you or tell you after she's like uh so i'll tell you after yeah and here we are here we are so i'm i'm astounded you killed it though uh, you killed it. I was sounded. We want to say a massive thank you to the venue for having us here today. A massive thank you to the audience for supporting us and Ooh. ultimately getting me through this. And thank you to Joel once again for joining me on this video. If you enjoyed this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have anything to add. And if you haven't yet subscribed or followed, <laughs> do consider doing so before you leave. Wish me luck doing up my jeans and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Good job. Wow. Thank you so much. Do you want one? Um, yeah, yes, great. What are you going to use it for? Oh. Sausage. The puddle of ketchup. That's what he's going to use That's it for. That's right.